Hi everybody. Okay, so I'm here to help you guys through the enzyme lab. Um, I know we already carried out the enzyme lab and I just want to explain what happened because I know when we're in lab and it's kind of chaotic, you really, really want to go back to the lab afterwards and figure out what did we just do. So what we did was carry out this reaction over and over and over again. So this is our main reaction is what we're going to start with. And that is catechol plus oxygen. So in our gaseous form, oxygen is O2, and we just take one half of the molecule, and these are just already out in the atmosphere. Um, and we take catechol, which is one of our substrates. So this is a substrate, and this is a substrate. And what we're trying to do is add in these two substrates. So these are like two little puzzle pieces and we want to add them together and we're going to use an enzyme to do that. Okay, so our enzyme that we added right here to glue these together with less energy than would normally be necessary is catechol oxidase. So the potato extract, what we do is we actually, before you get to lab, we take a potato and blend it up. And then you take cheesecloth and you just strain out the goo. So you squeeze the potato for all it's worth and you're like milking a potato. And that's your potato extract. Now this is really, really confusing. So I really want you to understand that catechol oxidase with this ASE on the end means that it's an enzyme. So catechol oxidase is not the substrate catechol. They're totally different things. Like we pour out the catechol and make a solution out of catechol plus water. Um, and I didn't spell substrate there. So that is catechol right here. It's just a substrate. And the oxygen is just from the air and it's a substrate. When you add in the oxidase, it means that that's the enzyme. So anything ending in ASE, is going to be an enzyme. So what it is actually is a really complicated protein structure and it just glues these, it like kind of grabs on to the substrates and glues them together for a cheaper energy cost. So what our product is over here is benzoquinone. And what that means to us is a brown pigmentation. So that's how we know that this product has been made is when we start to see brown in our solutions. So when the reaction has gone to completion, if nothing happened and it's still clear, that means nothing happened. There's no product. So clear means no reaction. Brown means that the product was produced. And I know that's really confusing because a lot of times when we see brown, uh, we think that maybe it oxidized or iodine got in there, but that's really what we're testing for is the oxidation process. So catechol oxidase is an oxidation. It's mixing with the oxygen from the atmosphere and it's turning it into a completely new thing, which is benzoquinone. Um, and so that can be really, really confusing, but you want to know that the potato extract is catechol oxidase. And any time that you are reading your lab manual, you can't just stop at catechol. You have to really differentiate. Am I talking about catechol over here as a substrate? Or am I talking about catechol oxidase, which is the potato extract? Um, so that, I think right there, probably nips so many people from good test results. Um, so we're gonna pause really fast. Hopefully from that, you got out the main reaction right here what a substrate is and what the reactants are. So on this side, you have reactants called substrates and then products over here, which our main product was uh, the benzoquinone. So these um, can also be called reactants. So they are the same thing. So substrates are on this side of the reaction and that means that they are going to work together to make something cool on the other end. So that's our product over here. So hopefully that makes sense. 
And if you uh, need more help on these topics, be sure to text or call or email, and I'll be sure to help you out. Thanks.